Hey guys, it's Danny with 937 Woodworks. I'm here to show you the Boris Straight Edge. Uh, I ordered one and they're 50 inches long. I had used the Craig Rip Cut and it's, it'll work and it's fine. But I, I wanted to try this for my router as well. I figured it would be a two for one combo deal because you can use it with your, your uh, saw and you can use it with your router so i uh and sorry i'm a little congested the weather change here in ohio has just ate me up but okay so i thought well i'm gonna get that so when i need to make cuts for like cabinets or whatever i could do um use my router as well so I bought the, the Bora Straight Edge 50 inch clamp and it works great. Um, that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, so if you unclamp, and I didn't read any directions, I'm just telling you from me using it how it works. All right, here's your, this slides back and forth, okay? And there's still measuring needs to be done. I mean, you need to make sure it's square when you're locking it, but um, when you, when you want to, when, when, after you lock it, you got to pull that one back, you hear it click and it'll release that way you can move it. If you don't and you lock it, it'll, it won't move when you're, when you're done. You see, it still won't move. It's, it's pulled back, but it won't move. So what you're going to want to do is pull that and lock it. So at the other end, and like I said, I haven't done a bunch with it. I just I just opened it actually. It's just basically the mouth, you know, it's the uh, other end of the clamp. But uh, so right here, I'm gonna be making a cut on my, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm making an old fashioned desk for a uh, musical, a school musical here in Ohio. And a teacher called me, so let me get this to lock. But you what you got him. I had to spend a little time making sure this was square and with my saw. And once you get it locked, it, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's basically just getting it locked back together. Sorry, I accidentally hit the power button. It's hard doing this with one hand. I've been looking at getting a camera so I could do some better video. I've been looking at some cannons and stuff. So, but it, yeah, it just locks down. Um it'll it locks onto the and that part's sticking up i'm gonna have to adjust it but i just wanted to show you how it worked um and basically you just put your saw right up next to the piece and it'll uh cut cut through so bear with me and i'll let you see how it works thank you okay guys i'm gonna i'm gonna give you the the uh grip cut sorry there's my face i just I gotta plug this up. I never plug my saw in until I'm ready to cut because that's how fingers get lost, especially when you modify your saw at all. So basically, and each saw is different. Some saws uh, have different, but mine, if I line the second, the little second uh, tooth up in there, it'll uh, it, right on the line, it'll cut. Now what I did is I placed a piece of foam under this so I didn't cut my tabletop. Not that this tabletop's like spectacular, but it's the only one I got. My workbench is too high to do projects on, so I don't want to run it or ruin it. So I uh, I, I placed a piece of like uh, foam insulation. I cut it, doubled it over, and taped it so I could. And I raised my blade just deep enough to make the cut through the plywood. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is my first cut with the Bora straight cut. So, here we go. And just like that, it's perfect. It, uh, you see a little, fo uh, the foam insulation, it ain't, I didn't cut into the actual, straight cut it just cut down into the phone it cut a little divot in there that's what i wanted to do so because i'm cutting a uh, two inch 
this or I've cut the 23 or 24 inch piece of uh, the uh, plywood the uh, BC it's uh, sanded it's already been sanded so it's ready to paint and guys that's really all I have I just wanted to show you how this worked and, and uh, show you that it's a, it's a good, actually a good tool and it's versatile like I bought a, a spare one well actually I, I'll be honest with you I was looking on my Home Depot. I, I didn't buy a spare one. They sent me a spare one because it, it took so long to get my to get my uh, this one. They sent me one uh, for free. Uh, they're they're forty eight dollars. I'll put a link in the description at Home Depot. I think they're forty eight dollars. They also sell them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for that. But uh, with two of them, you can set them down and. Uh, also use them with your router. So bear with me for a second. I'll grab my router and show you what I'm talking about. And I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna show you what I mean. So say you wanna use a router to make a, 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 a dado cut and some cabinets. You hook your straight edges on and you push this in between and lock it. You got a perfect straight shot for a dado cut. I watch videos for months on how to make perfect dado cuts. And one evening, I was out here and I thought, I'm just gonna, I can watch all the videos in the world. I just gotta try it. So I took my, um, I just did bought this Makita and it's awesome too, by the way. Give a shout out to the Makita. This is the compact plunge router. And it's pretty cheap and affordable. I think it was like, made, I wanna say, maybe 200 but uh i'll have to look at the price if you want it I'll, I'll list it too as well but it's very affordable and it's a great um router and i can do a video on it too um you know if you guys want me to just leave a uh, comment that you'd like to see me use this and i'll use this too but uh my uh i had i had watched video after video on how to make dado cuts because i was gonna make a uh, cabinet or no I was making a bench it was a bench for a uh, entryway and then I was making the coat rack so I was going to be using plywood and it works better if it slides together rather than screwed together and nailed so if you use this you can you use it with a I got a curved bit on there because I'm not using it right now but um, if you use this and you make your straight edges with it with the dado, but I come out here, I hooked it on, I did it, perfect dado cut. But what I did was I used two boards, I took my uh, Makita, or I got Makita, my uh, Milwaukee nail gun, I got an 18 gauge nail gun. And if you guys want a review on it, I'll do a review on it too, because it's amazing, it's my favorite, it's one of my favorite tools. It's quite, it's expensive, it's on the higher end of the battery powered, um, but I use it daily. So what I did though is I took my nail gun, I shot nails in it, but I left them where you could pull them out, and I uh, just tacked the wood down and uh, used my router, and it made a perfect dado cut. And I was like, you know what? I feel like these Bora um, straight edge clamps will do the same thing. So I, I thought I'm gonna buy them and try it. Now I haven't had a need to use this yet. But when I do, or when I do make some cabinets or some vanities, I will, um, I'll try to make a video. When I get a little bit better camera, I'm gonna start making more videos where you guys can see my face better and uh, see the things I'm doing. When I, uh, I've been looking at some different cameras, like I said, so, and that way I can get you guys some plans. I know a lot of guys uh, like plans and uh, I follow some guys and you know you can buy their plans but I'd like to you know like on the schoolhouse desk it's an old-fashioned schoolhouse desk a lot you know I don't have plans for it I didn't find plans for it I just you know I look I reference off Pinterest and uh, made the desk and it's actually you know it wasn't bad really I still got a lot of work but I got nine of them to make for a uh, school I did a little uh, I did a little uh, charity work for a school so I'm building these desks for them, but I, like I said, this is a, this is a perfect, perfect straight edge, and it will do anything you need it to do. So that's why I'm getting at. 
if you buy two of them. You actually don't even need two of them. You could really just keep this up against the pull it as tight as you can get it and run it down the edge and get a straight cut that way. But if you're like me and you shake and stuff, you you can you can actually put that there so there's no room for air. You just gotta make sure your gaps are evened at each end that way you don't get down to the end and have to move it. So all right guys, well I thank you for watching and I, if you guys want to see uh, reviews and, and see how to use these tools and and uh, stuff like that, just let me know and I will put a link in the description for this Makita whether you want it or not and I'll do it as well for the uh, board. Thanks guys, have a good night.